Tonga penetrans, commonly referred to as jiggers or shigo fleas, are notorious for their parasitic tendencies, particularly afflicting impoverished communities across the Caribbean islands, South America, and Africa with the debilitating disease known as tungiasis. This comprehensive guide delves into the intricacies of jigger removal, the telltale symptoms of tungiasis, and effective treatment strategies. Jiggers, also recognized as sand fleas or beach fleas, manifest under various monikers worldwide, each reflecting the regional nuances of this affliction. Solely the female sand flea incites the ectoparasitical havoc known as jigger or tungiasis, often masquerading its symptoms as diverse skin maladies like warts, cysts, or insect bites. The pregnant female jiggers embed themselves in the skin, triggering excruciating pain, itching, and the development of pea-sized lesions upon egg expulsion. Characterized by white nodules with central black pits, these lesions can pave the way for complications like cellulitis, gangrene, or tetanus if jigger removal protocols are neglected. Common invasion sites include toenails, soles, and areas in direct contact with sand. Prompt jigger removal is paramount to mitigate ulceration and preempt secondary infections that may arise from the demise of embedded fleas. Improper removal methods, such as unsterilized pins or nails, can exacerbate wounds, potentially necessitating drastic measures like toe amputation. Preventative measures encompass wearing protective footwear in sandy locales, especially crucial for vulnerable demographics like children. Additionally, diligent jigger removal practices extend to pets, with ivermectin serving as a potent prophylactic against flea infestation, safeguarding against parasitic skin infections and dermatitis. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and activate the notification bell if you wish to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.